Oh, this is going to be the best. Oh, shit. They have lettuce. <laughs> driving out on the ATV to uh, break up a dam that's long overdue to be broken up. Not the usual one I do, but a different one. Anyway, keep seeing. <laughs> so hunting season ended yesterday. Of course, I didn't see anything. But today, on my way, I'm seeing deer tracks all over the place. Like right here. I said, yeah, that's a deer track. The other one doesn't look like it. Anyway, and then I see, I'm not too sure what happened here. It's, uh, I don't know if he was, uh, or she, was, thank you Willow, digging around for acorns or whether I tried to bed down here. That doesn't look like a spot to bed down on, though. I'm probably looking for acorns. Even though, oh, well, there's, I guess that's an oh, oak tree. Or maybe it was just rolling in the snow like Willow just did. Anyway. Or maybe, uh, Maybe a doe and a buck came together here and made whoopee. <laughs> I don't know, is this the time of year for that? Well, uh, if the rut's on, oh, that would make a lot of sense. If the rut's on right now, that's, that would explain all the deer tracks. I'll be running around like crazy. Like, like. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep going here. So we're at the old Bridge of Doom, and this is where I've been driving through on my ATV, or uh, David's ATV. Uh, <coughs> right through the water there. Down there, there's three smaller dams holding the water up here, and I've had the water so low that it was just all mud through here. There, there wasn't any water. And that's kind of where I want to be. Well, ideally that's where we'd be right now. But anyway, I'm gonna get to work and see how far we can drop it down. Make getting through here a lot easier. So we got some really good throughput going on here. Now. An interesting side effect is all this ice will break because it sits on the water, right? It's lying on the water and, and it's already happening here as the water level goes down, it starts to break up. It's here, it's somewhere in here, it's broken because that's all underwater now. Oh, it wasn't before. But I hope this does the job. Let's go back and look at the number three. It doesn't look like a crazy amount, but uh, yeah, there must be as much water. Well, I don't know. Anyway, let's go back. You might wonder, like, Russell, are your feet getting cold? Because those look like uninsulated rubber boots you're wearing. And you'd be right. Well, that I'm wearing uninsulated rubber boots, but my feet aren't too bad, actually. Just within the last five minutes, my toes started getting cold. Um, the rest of my feet are fine. And I don't know why. I mean, that's ice cold water I've been standing in all this time. The last 45 minutes. Weird, right? It's not like I have particularly special feet that always stay warm. Uh, there's, there's where it broke. You can see it there now. Wood. We're gonna wait for a while and take a look at the water level over by where the old doom was.
So the pond is all frozen over, except for this one little area, actually. And it's interesting, because it's not even December yet. It's November, whatever, 22nd, something like that. And, like, when, when I was building the cabin, in fact, when I was pouring the cement for the piers uh, years ago, it was December 9th, I remember that very clearly. And there was no, there was no ice on the pond. It was, it was pretty mild out actually, and it's still November. Well, the ice is formed everywhere in the pond except for one area, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Last night when I was um, filming the sunset, I sent my dro drone over to buzz the beaver lodge over there, and the beaver lodge is way bigger than it was last year and the year before. And I got me wondering, like. Do they just keep adding six to the outside, or do they make the inside bigger too? They're in, where, you know, where they're dwelling. <laughs> I'm really curious about that. I don't know much about beaver lodges. Anyway, they've kept this track of ice open or open water. Um, I'm not sure why. I've never seen this before here between their lodge and what we call Willows Point. And very aptly named Willow's Point because she's had a heyday. <laughs> the beavers come up there and they sit on the rock. <clears throat> and I don't know what they're doing. And Willow races down there and chases them around. And they just splash and take off. And then she runs around. and <laughs> I It's weird. I've never seen that before. But otherwise there's probably like several inches of ice there. Anyway, today is Tuesday. It's Stumpf Day where I go to town for a sub and stuff, stump. And I'm anticipating they're still having the problem with lettuce supply. So I'm gonna do the most brilliant thing I've ever done in my entire life. I have here lettuce and a little sandwich bag. I am going to take lettuce with me to town because this is how uh, strongly I feel about having iceberg lettuce in my stuff. I should probably not do this while the camera's rolling. I should probably do this like more carefully. <clears throat> yeah. Also, what I'm gonna do on the way out, oh yeah, love that crunch. How much do I need? I don't even know. On the way out, I'm gonna check in on the <clears throat> beaver dams that I broke up yesterday. We'll see if the beavers got back to work on them. I'm really curious about that. And we'll see how much the water has dropped. Oh yeah. That's, apparently the this lettuce supply issue is going on in a lot of places. And if you can buy lettuce, it's way more expensive. That's gotta be like a hundred bucks worth of lettuce right there. <laughs> and it's all mine. It's going to my stub. My, I mean my sub. All right, one more thing. I am dreading this conversation. Hey, Brian. Hello, sir. What's going on today? I'm looking for an update on my ATV. I thought you took it out of here. <laughs> you thought I took it out of there? Yeah, we were looking for it. And what color is yours? That's black and red. It's a Can-Am Outlander oh, okay. 850. Okay. In the next couple of days. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Bye. Next couple of days. <laughs> oh, I thought you took it out of here. <laughs> what? What? a day makes look at all that mud still I, I'd like it to come down a bit further than that but I don't know if I can get up there with that ice sitting there let's go take a look at the dams
There's another one. I can't tell if they did some work on that. I don't think so, because they wouldn't have left it just like that. I think that's just been revealed when the water went down. Yep, number two, they didn't touch it at all. And number three, and they haven't done anything here either, so. That's good. Let the water flow through, freely through this area. Unfortunately, like like normally, um, any wet spots along the trail, any water holes, they freeze over and I can drive right over them, no problem. But in this area, there's kind of always water running through here. Even if it's just a trickle and it's hard for ice to uh, form, so I can drive over it. So the elk are back. These are all elk tracks through here. Lots of them, right? But they tend to, to hang out in herds. <laughs> And this is the area they like to hang out in. There's these little green shrubs along here that look like uh, little bamboo shoots. Which they're not bamboo. But uh, this is where they kind of hang out in the wintertime. It's funny, the timing's funny because it's just after hunting season. But And uh, there's a whole party of them in here or something. So I always got to keep my eyes open going through this area. Because I might see you know. It's really hard to, to get vid good video of them with the GoPro because whenever you're taking wildlife shots, you want you want to be able to zoom in. All right, what am I doing? Let's go get a sub. This is going to be the greatest story ever told. The genius of Russell. You'll tell your kids, they'll tell their kids, and they'll tell their kids. After that, I don't know, probably not. A Probably won't seem very interesting to them at that point. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best. Oh, shit. They have lettuce. <laughs> oh, well. Um, thanks to Pam Bergman. She got me a Subway gift card. This one's on you, Pam. Appreciate it. Well, a uh, bit of a pause on the way back in here. I assumed that, I'm looking at the screen on the back of the GoPro, it looks like you can't see anything. I don't know if you can or not. Or not. So I got my flashlight out. It's pretty dark. Um, the reason I'm stopped here is because uh, Dave's bike likes to overheat, uh, even in this cold temperature. So my old ATV used to do that too. I'm thinking uh, maybe it's just low on, um, coolant or maybe his rad's just really dirty and the uh, airflow is not getting through there one or the other anyway don't mind stopping for a few minutes darkness out here doesn't bother me there's nothing scary out here me i'm the scariest person out here that's it oh, sorry not the scariest person out here the scariest thing out here there's nobody else out here it's nice at night I'd like to see a nice big elk walk up here. Keep me company. Hey everyone, we're in the kitchen again tonight with a spectacular padish. The rock star gardeners that Russell and I are, we are finally going to use uh, a couple of butternut squash and we're going to use this little pumpkin in our padish tonight. It's going to be a take on a ravioli lasagna. So let's get started. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. I know I keep saying this, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you see everything that went into that? That's. Mm. So much cheesy goodness. Oh wow. Bacon, chicken. Uh-huh. Cheese. The ravioli was a sun-dried tomato as well. Oh my. What do you think of that flavor profile? Mmm. It's bouncing across my taste buds like water on a hot stove. Ooh. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Mm. It was really good. In case you're wondering, it was in the oven at 400... 400 degrees. 400 degrees for... 40 minutes. Taking the lid off... After 20 minutes. Halfway through. Mm-hmm. And it is glorious, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the way to go. Oh. It's just... So velvety, too. Every bite is a new birth. <laughs> I'm born again. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's massaging my gums like the finest masseuse. <laughs> We're really trying to up the ante. Mm -hmm. in our... Oh, what was the new one? The, the mouthfeel? Mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. The mouthfeel is A+. Plus. I don't even, is that how you grade mouthfeel? <laughs> or should it be know. like 9 out of 10 kind of thing here? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Anyway, it's glorious. Mm -hmm. And we're going to eat all this. I know a lot of people have said over the years, you know, oh, I love that, what you made. We're going to try it home. This is one you got to try. Yep. Did you catch all the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to go eat. <laughs> <laughs> So my beautiful guys and beautiful gals, uh, it's 9.30 in the evening, having a beer, and uh, I need your opinions, your comments and your opinions on this space. Right beside the door here, I always felt, I always felt that uh, I, sh I should have some kind of closet space, somewhere to hang up jackets and coats, ding, 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 like this. And then some space underneath for shoes and boots, like maybe lockers even, so, you know, a person could have their own locker kind of thing. This unit here is a leftover from the kitchen. Um, raised is, even though, it, I mean, it's an auction kitchen, right? It's, all these pieces came with it, and Ray decided, oh, yeah, we could use a bunch of them in the kitchen, and we got a bunch left over. So this is one of the leftover pieces. And I think this is supposed to be like an oven here, right? So what we got is upper, um, cabinet there's a shelf in here so there's two spaces 
And then down below there's three pretty wide drawers in here. <clears throat> and they're kind of... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to show you this in a sec. And we kind of just threw everything in here. I wasn't sure like exactly how to arrange things. And now I'm thinking... This... I wasn't sure that this was the right piece for the space. And now I'm absolutely certain it's not the right piece. And what I'm f for sure going to do is when I get the new workshop built, it's going to go out there. And then I'm going to build something to go in here that actually works for us. But I want your thoughts and opinions on... Maybe how I could be using this better or differently. So right now, <clears throat> we used to have, see these hooks here? There's, there's two sets. There's one here and then there's one still on the wall over here. Before I started building the bathroom, this was on the wall. We just had eight hook, ten hooks, <laughs> and a million things hanging from them, like everything. <clears throat> and it stuck out so far that <laughs> it was a... Uh, um, it was a hazard. Um, and I just I just hung this up tonight here, you know, just while drinking beer. <laughs> I swear, you drill. I was supposed to drill three holes, put three three screws in. I drilled like ten holes trying to line it up. It's trying to line up with a a board inside here, right? Because <laughs> you can't just have it through this thin side wall, whatever that is. It's like a quarter inch or something. <laughs> Anyway, and now, you know, I kind of figured this would happen, but the coats stick out a long way and kind of block your access to the bathroom. I think what I can do is take these hooks down over here and then push the whole unit this way, but I still don't like it. If you could think of a, a better way to use this space, you know, the, this thing in this space, then let me know. Because right now, as I said, we just put stuff in here. Here's, here's a coat that, uh, an old coat that I never use anymore because I have much better coats. City Girl's winter coat is up here too, which she'll actually use. You can't see any of this, can you? Has a nice purple coat. There's a blanket up there. There's a <laughs> an empty bin. <laughs> I don't know why there's an empty bin in there. And that's all that's up there right now. There was something else. Oh yeah, my my winter coat, my solid winter coat, my new one is there now. And here we've got. I don't know if you can see this very well bags like reusable bags but I <laughs> I never use reusable bags and uh, there's a reason for that because by the time I get you know like for groceries let's say by the time I get stuff in the car then onto the ATV and then into the cabin you know the bags get dirty and I just don't want to be washing bags all the time because you know while well, it's impossible in the winter time to wash anything here so I use plastic bags, and I've got a bag of plastic bags in here. The grocery store's still giving it up for now. I don't know when that's going to stop. And then I reuse them. Like, once I get the groceries in here, I, then I take my recycling out in, with those bags, and the bags end up in the recycling as well, because they take plastic, right? Here I've got... Here we had everything. <laughs> everything we didn't know what to do with. We had coats in here, and my neck warmer and my hat and hats various hats and god we had i mean everything was in here this is a you sit on this like it's specifically made for hunting season so you could you know sit anywhere it was in there i don't know why i've never used this well i haven't used this in like 12 years <laughs> i take a chair now when i'm hunting but everything's in my helmet is in here I, I've cleared out, out a lot of stuff because I just don't think it should be in here, but my backpack is in here. But it's a big open space. In fact, there's, gosh, there's like eight, ten inches here that, of space that I don't know what to do with. There's like nothing to do with. Uh, and then these drawers, right? I've got hats in here. These, like, baseball type caps. Uh, which is stupid because I never wear them. I never wear baseball caps, like maybe once in a long while. And it's stupid because this drawer is really thin. And uh, baseball caps don't want to sit nicely in there. And in the bottom drawer, uh, winter mitts, winter hats. That, that one actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate your comments, your thoughts. Um, let me know if you think I should just get rid of this and put in a proper 
lockers and thing, closet, whatever. Or if I've got a, if, if there's a better way to do, you know, this, could I put it here? Probably not, because it's going to block this. <laughs> I don't know. The things I do at 9.30 at night, drinking a beer or two or three. The dogs are off on some grand journey, way down in the valley down there. Every once in a while I spot them. They love this uh, frozen ice thing because they can just walk across and go all the places that were really hard to get to uh, other times of the year. The snow hanging off the roof was like this low this morning. Some of it's just fallen and some of it I push off because otherwise like eventually there's a, a big hill of snow right down in front of the deck here. Kind of makes it hard to move around in the winter time. So I can just give it a little bit of a push. Where's Junebug? Where'd you leave Junebug? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you leave Junebug? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? Jeez. Where's Junebug? Junebug! She's, um, a, a lot. She's far more timid about the ice than Willow is. Come on, Jimbug. Come on. I know you already walked across there. Come on, little girl. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, Jimbug. Come on. Come on, little girl. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I watched her walk over there. Come on, Jimbug. Come on, little girl. You can do it. Well, go get her. Go get her. Go, go get her. Oh, where is she going? She's going the long way. That a girl. Yeah, made it.
moments ago, I remembered that I had a bag of lettuce in my jacket. Um, it's probably still good. Still looks good. And uh, it's like $100 worth of lettuce, so yeah, we're going to take care of that. Let us be more careful in future with our lettuce. I'm so clever. Anyway, good video, short video. Um, although I do see that I talked for over six minutes about that stupid hutch over there. <laughs> I really shouldn't be filming when I've had a couple of beers. <laughs> anyway, uh, one final note about the ATV. The guy called me back, and I guess there was some confusion because in their system, their computer system, uh, it has my ATV listed as a 2010 yellow Can-Am. That's my old ATV. And I realized I hadn't taken my new one there at all yet. So there's where the confusion was. There, they, uh, they looked for, you know, the yellow ATV, didn't find it, and uh, that's why he thought I'd come and gr grabbed it and taken it home. So anyway, he got it in, the guy looked at it, and uh, he said it would be a couple or three days to get it fixed. He also said they have all the parts. So why does it take two or three days to get it fixed when they have all the parts? I don't know. Anyway, I'll be happy to get it back. Should be soon, anytime now. Um, yeah, so uh, this is going to be the end of the video. There's no live stream on uh, Friday because it's somebody's birthday and we're just going to chill. We're just going to hang out and chill. And uh, so I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week. I just said that. Peace soup. Doggies. Oh, well, no. <laughs> just trying to scritch you. Just trying to scritch you, little girl. Yeah.